Uh, hey Vegas Rangers, it's Lucky here, and um, today I'm going to show you how to make a companion. Well, not make a companion, but I have made for you, using uh, what I used to make my commands, made a blank slate, or at least he will be a blank slate, but it's also, <laughs> it's for you to use in the GEC to make your own companions like I have, like I so, we have Mr. Blank. So you'll go into your, you'll load up, uh, you scroll down to, the file will be called Companion Blank. This is just the one I'm making for the vis this video. And then you'll go to NPC, DXC Amigo NPC, click on him, and then here we have his name. So we'll just call him, uh, Unarmed Badass. There we go. And then he'll use the Miko script. Don't change his ID. So he's Caucasian. Uh, stats. You'll generally want to have this. And then if you really... He'll use the DXE Amigo class. You can edit their stats however you want. I'm not going to do that. But uh, his unarmed is really low. Uh Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to mess with that, but you can change that class if you want. I'm not going to mess with, with it. So you're going to want to go in here and you'll right click, hit new, then you'll search for amigo faction, player faction and don't taste me, bro. You need don't taste me, bro. Otherwise, uh, you can't enter the strip with a companion. AI data, you won't have to worry about this. Packages already done for you. So, before we get into that, we'll go over to his face. And then we have him. So, let's just change him up. Uh, how's this color look? And go down here. we we'll use that. This is more advanced if you want to, so we'll just go. Oh yeah. So we're just gonna make him a monster. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Oh wait, no, I already... Oh! Gotta love it. Uh... There we go. See this? Uh, do we want that? <laughs> you can do this to your heart's content. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll make him big, burly man. Oh, uh, you can edit whether he has a beard or in his hair. Oh my god. What does his hair look like? <laughs> oh my god, I, I wanted to be this one. Alright. So, now that we've decided what he's looking like, we're going to go over to his inventory, press preview, but first we're going to go over here, save. Save as often as you can. Because if you don't save and it crashes, you will have to do this all over again. So we're going to go back to Unarmed Badass, and I'm also going to show you today how to give them an animal companion, just to follow them and follow you, if you would like. Uh, so we're gonna go over armor. Uh, hmm. This is usually the part with that I will take a while with. Uh, our power armors for pussies. <laughs> Cut that out. Uh, so we're just gonna go over here, and I won't try to spend too long on this. <laughs> I want, I want his face to be shown. I want me. Uh. Here we go. Glut. 
no, we're not gonna do that. Um, <laughs> commando armor, and then we're gonna set his weapon. Spread that out. Hand-to-hand. Uh, -hand. And then we'll give him... So, if I wanted to make something specific for him that I wanted him to use, so we'll just take this, and then you want to go AAA, and then uh, we'll just call it... Doesn't matter what you call it, we'll just call it Swedish. And then, because this name, Swedish... Uh, Viking Power. There we go. Because then this is the name you'll see in game. That's the name of the guck. And then we'll just edit this. We'll just give it like a solid 55. But decrease it by 36 as a trade off. And then we're not going to make this playable. So he can now never drop this. And then we'll just go over here. Uh, art and sound. Projectile, reload animation. And then that's the impact. So we'll just go to... If you want to change this, you'll just go to... Me making sure that you can hear me. You can hear me, right? You can hear me, right? Yes, thank god. Okay. Then you'll just want to go to... uh. Since I have all DLCs on, we'll just go to Inversal. There we go. Hit OK. It'll ask you, do you want to make a new weapon? Yes. So let's do that, and then we'll give it to him. He's got the Power Fist now. Oh my god, that thing's huge on his arm. I have never realized how large they are. And then... Uh, so, that's done. You can customize them to your heart's content. I'm not going to worry about that. That's not where the meat of this is. So... Say we want to give him a companion. We'll give him... Here. We'll just give him a big corner, and then always preview it and make sure it's all good. So we're going to have to change the ID, otherwise it will set the... Uh, what we want to do for all of them. So we'll just call it a. Uh, we'll call him Walrus. We'll call him Walrus. And then he will be essential... Uh, can't open doors. No level of processing. His actor base, we're going to set it to none. So it doesn't use any of its own AI packages. Uh, he'll always be that. Creature faction, animal friend. We're going to want to set him to the DX, DX Amigo faction, so he's friends with him. And then we want to set him to the player faction. So he's friends with us. We're going to remove him from the big corner faction. Move him from creature and animal friend. We'll set him to unaggressive, foolhardy, AI packages. Then we'll delete these. Set a new one. So if you're, we'll just call it that. So follow. Say we want to give someone a companion. Uh, we'll set that. And then since this is using... Oh god, I think this is using what I... Th yeah. Since he's using my mod as a base, we'll just use... Thank you. Uh, Ranger spot. I almost set his fall distance to 700. Then we'll do that. Uh, yeah, we'll create Wallers. Okay, first. <laughs> First, we're going to figure out where I am. Because this is just me. I edited something in Good Springs. Oh well. Uh. 
Okay, yeah. So, uh, always make sure that you have your reference right. So, I, now that we have him, we'll go over here. And we'll go to AA Walrus. Oh, sorry, that's my mouse doing that. We're going to select him, place him down. And then, wherever you put your companion, in this case, in Ranger Spot, I will obviously clean it up in post. Uh, you'll just set him down right here if you make any additions, and then F will auto uh, put him on the floor. Uh, since he's a little large, we'll scale him down a little bit. There we go. But on to the real meat of this. So this companion will come with a perk, a perk message. So we'll go down here. Oof. Um, not here. Message. And then you'll be searching for DXE message death, blank has died, uh, fired, fired sweet. These sound pretty self-explanatory for when he dies, when he's fired, when you send him to lucky 30 after being fired, when he's hired, when you get your perk, when it's removed, uh, when he just quits around, when he needs stim packs, all that. So it'll just come in and then you'll just in this instance say uh, the unarmed bad ass has died. And then this does not matter. And then I'll ask you to do that. You can just hit ignore all. Boom. And then for fired unarmed badass has gone to the lucky 38 and then what I usually do I just hit cancel but oh I oh wait no I already clicked on that hired you have hired a great Viking warrior and this will obviously appear in the top left of your screen whenever you hire them uh, blanks perk has been added. The Viking perk has been added. Cancel. Perk remove. The Viking perk has been removed. And then blank has quit. We'll hit cancel, and then we'll go over here. The requires a stim pack. Voila. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna hit save again. So we have all this message done. What's next? Now is to go over to the perk itself. And then you will go down to DXE Amigo Perk. And then since I <laughs> since I have reused the Luckies, uh, Lucky is a reference, but instead it'll be called blank. So we'll just have to name our perk. Let's call it uh, call it the Ginger Disease. And then you'll just give a little description. Usually you want to tell them what they're actually getting. Because it'd be... It would be fun to get a perk and not know what it does. So we're just going to say... Uh, having a yinger at your... At your side has... Has made you more appealing. And you appear stronger. So I usually try to just sort of also subtly hint to it, and then we'll go, you gain a bonus to your char charisma, strength, and unarmed. And then over here, you will go, since these are conditions, don't worry about that. You'll just go over down here, ignore that. So these are actually what you get. So we're going to delete that, delete that, delete that. So we're going to go over, 
perk entry ability and then you'll just scroll through bobblehead charisma hit ok new ability bobblehead strength add new ability perk bobblehead unarmed and then this should this should do the rest for you finish that up hit save then we have our companion right here and then if you don't want to move him here i will show you how to move all of this reference so we're gonna first just delete all that boom saved now onto the bigger part that will likely take the longest you'll go over to quest head down to dxe amigo quest then you'll go over to topics you see all this you gotta add an entry for well you, you're gonna edit all of these and then you conversation is where you can have all your idle chatter and then combat you can add it add some combat barks so we're gonna go over here generally don't mess with anything else besides what I mess with and then hey who might you be and we'll just say that uh, I'm a great and mighty Viking warrior I've come here to chew ass and kick bubble gum. And then that'll be his intro. He will say this only once. And then follow or acknowledge. Uh, yeah, I hear you. Cancel. So if you want to say something specific instead of uh, God, I can't. Uh, I can't think of the word. <laughs> but if I so there's the topic text. Don't change that and change the prompt that's what i was thinking of because if you do that it'll affect all npcs like if i was to say uh look let's get let's go up here every npc companion will say that full vanilla and so i still have yet to do that well i still have yet to fix it fired no I'm just going to fix that. I have my own companion off, but yes, I know. Thank you. So we did that. Yeah, I hear you. It's time for us to part ways. So we'll just edit whatever I have to say. And then I'll probably cut all this out. But you never know. And real quick, uh, me to add this in the future. The more lines you add, just copy and paste it. Say I want to add another uh, thing he wants to say, just you'll hit over here, copy, and then you'll paste it right there and then just change the lines. Also, if you want to add a line, if you want him to say something after, like, uh, I think we should travel together again. Uh, Shit, I always come up, I always try to think of something. Um, so I have him say this, and then say I want to have him say something after. I'll go over here and just hit new, and then he'll say that afterwards. Uh, and then uh, if you go over to the hello text in conversation, you can edit what they will say as goodbye, their idle chatter, and whenever you generally talk about them. So we're going to say, uh, how can the king help you today? Uh, 
and then uh, Also, if you figure out who I'm doing, um, props to you. And then you have their idle chatter. This will... So from what I've learned, the more you add, they talk a lot. <laughs> There's not really a set amount of triggers. They just will randomly do it. So, uh... We're not going to worry about this right now. And then you have in combat... Whenever they get back up after being downed, uh, there's nothing for detection and service. So that's generally it. I made this as easy as possible. Obviously, right now, blank is not very blank. He's just a holdover. But say you want to move to a different cell. Say you don't want to be on this very mysterious hill. What we're going to do is make sure that you select everything. So to do that, you'll just click him, hit control, click him. Oh. Actually, no, you don't hit control. Yeah, you do. You hit control, click him, click that. Apparently, I didn't click that. Don't be afraid to zoom in whenever you do this because you want to get all of this. Do you want to get that, him, and the fire? Did I get the fire? Now I got the fire. Oh, I got the tree. So we're gonna, as a test, we're gonna move it around. Now we got the fire. Got that and that. So this is actually just the light source. We're gonna move that around. So we're gonna hit. Say I want to go to this. Hit copy. And then say let's let's put them all the way in uh, Good Springs. I apparently did something in Good Springs. Click over here, and since he has a map marker, I will show you. Um, let's put him just a little bit out of town. So you'll just go over here, and then you should hit Command M. You want to move these references, and this will edit the scripts as well. And then hit F. Sometimes just slap it. And there you go. All your things have been moved over here, and you don't have to worry about going into uh, your scripts. And then say you want to move this, you'll hold Z. You'll click on it, hold Z. Move it down. You might as well do that for some of these. So, we have this map marker right here. Also, we're going to save. You have this map marker, you're going to click on it. Marker data, and this is going to tell you what kind it is, and then this type affects what image it will be. So we're just going to call this um, a throne for kings. And then voila. And I will see you uh, in game. Morning. Yeah, uh, we need a part ways. Thank you. Uh, we're gonna wait till morning. My uninstall Luna. But now you see we have a map marker on our compass. So we're gonna go over there. I also might change my armor. I don't know. Radiation gets bad. Folks can be nuttier than the squirrels. You know what? Thank you. It's best go in. Guns a blazing. Uh, he should be around here. Oh no! I was walking towards the wrong one. Hello. And here we go. A throne for kings. Hey, Varus. Oh, wrong game. Oh. Can't tap you. Hello, unarmed badass. Uh, and then he'll have his opening dialogue. Hey there, who might you be? I'm <laughs> the great and mighty Viking warrior. I've come here to chew ass and kick bubblegum. Uh, and then, obviously, it'll have his line. I didn't change it. Uh, there's work to be done. You've hired the great blank. Oh, no. Okay. So, do change that because it will, uh, 
it will tell you at least the, when the perk is added. And then we're going to go over skills, perks, and it should be, what did I call it? Oh, the ginger disease. <laughs> Having a ginger at your side has been, has made you more, oh god, that's a typo. <laughs> has made you more appealing and appear stronger. You gain a bonus to your charisma, strength, and unarmed. And then you'll go over, talk to him, uh, he'll do some animations. Do I smell that bad? Uh, yes, I'm sure. And then you'll only just need to add when the perk is added, and then it will say when the perk is removed. There we go. I hope. Well, thank you for tuning into this uh, little guide. I'll make some more. Sorry it's not super well put together. I improv this on the spot and didn't really come in with a complete script in mind. But I should have uh, blank done soon for all your creative needs. Yeah. See ya. As a hand-picked resident of Vault 76, it is your duty to carefully review your Vault Tech provided films yearly to fully prepare for the day when you will emerge. <laughs>